Good morning from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street, and today is Friday, June 26th. Coming up today, Kansas City Fed President Esther George speaks about the payment system at a conference. June Michigan sentiment is released, and finish lines quarterly results are reported. Well, this month could end up being the biggest ever for movies. More expected hits are released today, including Ted 2. Already, Jurassic World and Inside Out have been strong performers at the box office in June, with $950 million collected so far this month. Rentrack says this month could topple the record $1.4 billion made in July 2011. That's when Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 ruled the Cineplex. Well, Nike's profit was better than expected as it sold more basketball shoes and sports apparel. That's the eighth straight quarter that Nike has beaten expectations. Nike shares are higher in the pre-market, and if it would close at that level, it would be a new 52-week high for the stock. Well, Nike's up 37% in the past 12 months and 9% year-to-date. And memory chip maker Micron Technology missed estimates on both the top and bottom lines, and the stock is lower in the pre-market. Shares skidded more than 8 percent, in fact, after the company reported fiscal third quarter earnings fell to $491 million, or $0.42 cents a share, from $806 million, or $0.68 cents a share a year ago. It was hurt by sluggish demand for computers. That is a wrap for us, but be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the Nasdaq market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.